Short answer? Yes. Long answer? <laughs> Readers, in September of 2019, a rumor article from Full Circle regarding the status of the X-Men in the MCU was released stating that now that the rights have been acquired by Marvel Studios upon Disney's acquisition of Fox, Kevin Feige and co. are considering casting Professor X and Magneto as people of color in the X-Men reboot in the MCU. Now, I, I don't know if there's any merit to this rumor or the source of this article, Real Talk. After all, Full Circle is a fairly new entertainment news source, launching both their YouTube channel and their website in February and March of 2019, respectively. But I'll tell you, ever since this article went live online, a lot of people had a lot of things to say about it. Now, personally, I have my own feelings regarding changing the race and gender of comic book characters for film and television. As long as there isn't anything practically associated with the character regarding their identity that requires them to be the race that they were originally assigned upon their creation, then go ham. That's pretty much the reason why T'Challa and Aurora Monroe have to stay African. That's pretty much the reason why Miles Morales has to stay a mix between African American and Hispanic. And sometimes applying that rule to characters that started off as white actually helped them become more interesting, like in Zack Snyder's casting of Jason Momoa as Arthur Curry slash Aquaman. Not only does his IRL lineage of Hawaiian, German, Irish, and Native American help give more significance to Arthur's being from two world struggle that's been part of his development in the comics in being half human and half Atlantean, but the things we regularly associated with Aquaman, blonde hair and blue eyes specifically, were appropriately transitioned to his pure-blooded Atlantean half-brother Orm, the Ocean Master, to better visualize his racist and Atlantis supremacist ideology. It's a topic I've been wanting to cover in a video essay for quite some time now. Patreon.com slash Redis underscore 101. It's also why I wasn't really mad about the casting of Jeffrey Wright as Commissioner Gordon and Matt Reeves as upcoming The Batman. Because there really isn't anything about his character or his lineage since his Detective Comics debut that says that he must be played by a white guy. And apparently I'm not alone in that way of thinking, because once the article hit the web and spread around, Lots of people took that mentality that I had with Jeffrey Wright playing James Gordon with the idea of Charles Xavier being portrayed by a person of color. You know, outside of being born a member of the high upper class in New York City. But when it came to Magneto, on the other hand, things tended to get a bit trickier. And that's mostly due to his origin story depicting him as a Jewish Holocaust survivor. And while there are definitely black Jews out there, the argument regarding keeping him white is the fact that being a Holocaust survivor is a key part of his background, and you can't really hold true to that by making him black or any other race. So in order for us to figure out if making Magneto a person of color in the MCU is possible given what's already been established about him in the comics, we have to take multiple things into consideration. The first one being that non-American black people did exist in Nazi Germany during the Holocaust. And while they weren't part of it per se, they were, they were still unwillingly sterilized, given vasectomies, and basically made them promise the nation that they'd never have sex with their people in order to keep their master race absolutely pure. And don't even get me started on the people zoos. Then there's the fact that for the first 18 years of Magneto's existence in Marvel Comics, he wasn't established as Jewish. It wasn't until Chris Claremont wrote issue 150 of Uncanny X-Men that we have the origin story for him that we regularly associate him with. But even from his first appearance in issue 1 of X-Men in 1963, the association between his character and Malcolm X, just like Xavier to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., has always been there since his introduction. Then there's the current state of the MCU, which, thanks to the events of Avengers Infinity War and Endgame, is currently set in the year 2024 as of Spider-Man Far From Home. 
So unless Marvel Studios is planning on doing that popularly rumored Wanda wills the X-Men into existence theory during the events of WandaVision and or Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, that would put Magneto over a hundred years old. Especially if Marvel Studios wants us to believe that mutants always existed during the events that have currently played out in the MCU, whether they use a House of X, Powers of X inspired storyline or not. They would either have to do something along the lines of how Marvel treated Captain America in order for him to keep his World War II origin in place, or constantly shift things around until they can find something timeless and universal in order to not seem impractical, like how Iron Man's origin in the comics shifted from taking place in the Vietnam War, to the Gulf War, to just a terrorist attack like in the movies. And while I agree that using the genocidal actions of Nazi Germany against Jews definitely helped establish Magneto's actions and methods coupled with his Malcolm X inspired mentality, especially since the character is constantly in his mid to late 50s, doing the Iron Man method of finding another real life instance to associate his MCU backstory in order to keep him from accidentally aging him past 100 might be the best bet. Instances like the Rwandan genocide of 1994. I mean, yeah, you could ask the question of why didn't Wakanda intervene since they're basically three countries north of Rwanda, but you pretty much asked that same question regarding why they didn't stop slavery. So I mean, honestly, the only thing keeping changing Magneto's race a possibility in the MCU is the fact that his twins Wanda and Pietro are part of it. And their origins have been open-ended enough since their introduction in Avengers Age of Ultron that Marvel Studios can still establish the twins as Magneto's children when they introduce the X-Men into the MCU. After all, they only really started disassociating the twins from Magneto because of the film rights to X-Men. It's the same reason why they're mutants in the Fox films and currently just non-inhumans with powers in the MCU. And they did that on purpose. But at the same time, if they don't go the mutants always existed or a variant of the house slash powers of X storyline explanation and have Wanda will them into existence, unless she specifically creates him to be her dad, Magneto's relationship with her and in response, his race won't even play a factor. So with all of these considerations on the table, both for and against it, is it possible for the MCU version of Magneto to be black or at least a person of color? Considering all the possibilities available to both hold true to what's been established to him since 1981 and update the character in order for him to fit the MCU properly, I'd say yes. And if they were smart, they'd find a way to still keep him Jewish so that they don't lose their representation on screen. Should they do it though? Mm. That's a topic for another video. <laughs> so with that being said, readers, your homework assignment for the day. Write in the comment section below whether or not you can see Xavier or Magneto as a person of color in the MCU. And be civil, because I'll block your ass quicker than a bear can shit in the woods. Don't test me. Patreon is happening all month long here on Readus 101. So if you want to help financially support the channel, you can join my Patreon by clicking the card at the end of the video or in the link in the description down below, where you can also find a link to my merchandise store. Or if you prefer to give one-time donations, you can find links to my PayPal and my coffee account in the description box as well. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and every other Friday. But until then, this is Redis 101. Class dismissed.